So today I have a pretty big Primark haul. I'm actually really proud of myself because I didn't buy any clothes. It's all kind of like skincare, home decor, like accessories, bits like that. But I'm very excited. <laughs> it's bad because I actually went out to study. I went to Starbucks to study, but unfortunately Primark is next to Starbucks. So I did end up in there. Um, I don't really shop at Primark too much unless it is for like skincare bits, nails, um, homeware. I rarely really get clothes or like underwear, like loungewear. I don't really, I don't really reach for many like clothes from there because I prefer to spend a little bit more and get like higher quality things. Also like the ethics bit, but we're not going to get into that today. But anyway, I did treat myself to a little Primark haul because I'm not doing very good on money at the moment so I did have to go somewhere cheap but I got some really cute bits I'm still waiting for H&M home in Plymouth but one day maybe oh my god the, whole big, the bag doesn't even fit in the frame <laughs> oh my god and it's ripped as well I'm surprised it didn't rip on the walk home also if I'm really pink in the face it's really hot in here and I do have the I'm actually going to close the window as well. I did have the window open, but then I closed the blinds because it's actually like a bit better lighting if I close the blinds and then like have my fairy lights on. But I am going to have to close the window because there's like cars going by because it's the main road like kind of near our house. But that's, yeah, that's why my face is all pink because I'm so sweaty because I had I had a like a big like woolen jumper on because I was really embracing like the autumn vibes because I'm fully like in my autumn mood now. But it's still like 18 degrees outside, so I was sweating, but I did stick to it for the, the aesthetic. But I'm going to close the window. Okay, hopefully it's a lot quieter now. Also, it's hair wash day, so we're going to ignore like how greasy it looks. I didn't plan on filming a haul today, but I didn't plan on spending loads of money either. So it's okay, it's been done. It's giving me a boost of serotonin that I really needed. So it's okay, I'm going to justify it like that. Okay, so the first thing that we got this bath mat because our bathroom doesn't have like an anti-slip floor so me and my mate have both stacked it multiple times trying to get out of the shower it's actually really dangerous um and we did have a bath mat but it, it just slipped right from under us so i've got this one because for one it's really cute also i'm really sorry if there's like these light flares when i like hold up certain items because there's a crack in my camera in my phone camera and it like sends light flares sometimes depending on like what i don't even know how it works but yeah sometimes it like reflects weirdly but i've lost my camera batteries no i've lost my camera battery charger and i haven't bought a new one yet so i have no choice but to film on this or my gopro at the moment which is why all of my vlogs have been a mix of iphone and gopro footage um i do enjoy using the gopro but it's just you just can't use it for everything um so yeah, I just, I'm just going to apologise in advance for that because it's going to happen. Um, and I don't have the money to replace my phone right now and I don't have the money to buy a better camera. So I do have the money to buy the battery charger, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Um, but anyway, yeah, we got this bath mat and I'm really excited about it because it's really cute and we need a cute decor for our bathroom. And it's got like this like sticky bottom, so I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's going to do better than the other one. Also, it's just cute. I want to get like a big standing plant for the bathroom as well, but I'm making, I'm slowly, slowly adding decor. These are really cool. I got these black tea light candles. They're vanilla scented, but they're black because my room is currently a mix of kind of pink vibes, like pink Barbie vibes, but also like kind of accents of gold. But I kind of want to go a little bit darker for autumn and like winter and go kind of like greys and blacks and like golds and things like that um, and just take out the pink, which does mean buying loads of new stuff. So I probably won't like fully stick to that. Like I have like a nice pink silk pillowcase. If I can find a black one, that'd be really cool. But yeah, I don't know why. I just like feel like switching up the vibes to kind of match like clothing vibe that I'm going for at the moment because I, I was in like a very pink cutesy Barbie fashion moment but I'm kind of steering towards more you know chrome nails like graphic 
patterns, cargoes, things like that. I'm kind of feeling that a bit more at the moment. Um, mixed with a lot more like kind of mature, like I want to start wearing more like shirts and like mature looking things as well. I want to start dressing my age basically. Um, I'm only 20, but still. I got, I'm going so off track. I got these like black tea light candles. These were two pounds. The bath mat was nine pounds. Um, I'm so excited about these. These are really cool. They do smell quite nice. They don't smell like that overbearing, but um, yeah. Okay, this actually isn't from Primark. This is from Tiger, Flying Tiger. Um, oh my God. <gasps> look. It's got like a chip out of it. That's so funny, look. You can see my, where is it? You can see my alcohol up there. <laughs> um, I thought it was really cute, but yeah, it's got like a little chip missing. But it's just this cute, um, what's the word? Mirror, this cute little heart mirror in it. And it's just like a plain notebook. But I was looking at all the planners because I want to start like planning my days again and like being more productive and organized. But I didn't want to get like a really strict planner, like, and all of them were like 2024 as well. And I kind of like laying it out in my own way. So I got this and it's really cute. Um, it was, there's no price on it. Oh, it's five pounds. I'm pretty sure it's five pounds. Um, but I love Tiger. They have so many like Halloween things in there as well. Um, but I didn't get any yet. I'm going to get loads of like pumpkin-y bits from my room but I need to put some of my stuff in storage before I start getting out new decorations because I already don't because I don't have that much surface space in my new room like there's not really many places to put decorations so I can go too overboard but undoubtedly I will like as soon as I walk into TK Maxx home section I will leave with like so many new candles and like pumpkin themed decorations I've got another cool claw clip because I love my claw clips I like claw clips to match all of my outfits and I seem to have lost a bunch of mine recently um so I just picked up this like cream one because I thought it'd go nicely with my hair I don't know um but yeah this was just 250 little claw clips nothing special speaking of I also got these little clips I just couldn't help myself because the colors are just so cute like this color scheme is just it's so cute I don't even wear actually no that is not true I have loads of blue stuff at the moment on my clothes rack and I have these really cool new blue converse that I got when I was in Florida um so I thought these would look cute with those as well I was thinking of doing two like little like I don't know two little tiny pigtails and using these to clip them in but they're just so cute like look at those metallic blues and creams it's so nice I really like them I hope that they actually stay and they're not like really weak clips because they are little but I have like quite thin hair anyway so it's fine um and those were 250 that's the problem with Primark things are so cheap that you just pick up so much stuff and then you end up spending like 50 quid and it's like oh my god okay then I just got some dry shampoo so this was just 145 just because I realized I don't have any it's really not that interesting I have nothing to say about it I need to use it right now but... oh my goodness okay so I couldn't choose so I got four pairs of fake nails because I as, ugh, as much as I love my acrylics I can't afford it. It's just a lifestyle I can't afford right now. Um, I wanted to start getting my lashes done as well as my nails, but that's like £200 a month if you're thinking like you're going to get your nails done every two weeks. I don't know how often you have to get your lashes done, but like I just can't afford it right now. So I am going to use press-ons and just change them out every like five days or whatever, or when they start falling off. Um, and I'm just going to continue to use like little fake cluster lashes because I just can't I just can't afford it right now as much as I would love to I have started a job that gives me more shifts and pays better but it pays monthly and I haven't had a paycheck from them yet so that'd be really nice at the end of the month but at the moment I'm in break student mode like even my loan like when my loan comes in the entirety of my loan is going to pay my rent because I get the minimum loan and it doesn't cover my rent um which is really sucks, but it's fine. Um, but I'm still like, when my loan comes in, I'm still like 300 short or something like that um, to pay my rent. So <laughs> I will not be one of those students who's treating themselves and like spending loads of money and buying the drinks when my loan comes in. Absolutely not. Anyway, I got 
these um, almond gloss nails with like the, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called, this design, like the eye. I know it's like a, a lucky thing, like in a lot of cultures. I know there's like an actual meaning behind it, but I can't remember what it's called. I don't know. Um, it's just this. I just realised I hadn't even properly shown it to the camera. So yeah, these are the first set that I picked up. Um, I feel like I'm wearing a lot more blue recently and these will match, like as I was saying, a lot of the other stuff. And they've matched the clips as well. So, cause do you know what's something about me? I absolutely love like a monochromatic outfit. Absolutely love it. Like I love like a match, like an outfit with like two colors or something like that. Like I can't stand like matching like, loads of different colors. I'm not like a super colorful person. I just like everything to be coordinated and nice and put together. So um, even down to like accessories and stuff. So yeah, a lot of the time with my acrylic nails, I go for kind of like neutrals or just like a one color, like simple thing. Like these really match the vibe that I'm going for at the moment, but they do need to come off because I've had them on for like two and a bit weeks. And like they look nice here, but like the closer up, they're not great. Um, funnily enough, though, I did basically, my mate pointed these out to me. She's like, Holly, you literally could have saved like 50 quid and just got these instead um and these are just some pointed gloss literally the exact same as what i'm wearing um but those are really cute so i'm gonna i'm not gonna wear those ones i might actually wear these ones around christmas time because they're kind of giving like tinsel vibes um but i just i picked those ones up because i do really love this this like style of nails i really wanted to get like a white star maybe on like a few of the nails as well but i didn't want to pay even more so i didn't um then i just got these coffin gloss nails i wish they had a few less diamantes on them but they'll probably fall off anyway so um yeah so i just picked up these ones i think they're really cool i don't know i might actually put those ones on first i'm not sure um and then the last ones i got my mate pointed these ones out again and she said that they were really like me me core um so i got them and they are they're very well they are very barbie core to be fair which is kind of what i just said i was getting out of but i do still really like it so um so i just picked up these they're like sparkly pink and cute and pretty and i like them so um yeah the next things that i got were these two little tea light holders again i've got something that's pink why have i done this maybe i'll go like pink and chrome and like black and white is that too much my room is actually so cozy the vibes are immaculate like it's so cozy in here like i'll have to like really tidy it and then do like a room tour it's not a very big room but it's so cozy um i have i have made it really nice but the only thing is there's like a suitcase over in this corner out of frame and then there's a bunch of suitcases up on top of my um wardrobe and it just makes it look cluttered and messy but there's we don't have a storage cupboard we don't have anything and there's no room in my wardrobe for it because i have way too many clothes that's something else about me i'm very obsessed with my clothes they just bring me so much happiness and joy and i love i love my clothes i i love being a little fashionista even though i'm really not because i just follow trends but still like i do like my clothes um i might do like an autumn lookbook or like styling outfits for autumn soon in the next week or so if i can get around to doing it um i'd like to do that but i do want to do that on my actual camera because it would just look better so and i'd like to film some of it like out on like like on location that's the film student in me talking but like when the leaves start turning i might do it then so i can like Go, go outside in my little outfits because we have a nice park like literally across the road that i could do it in and i could just run back and keep getting changed and then run back to the park um that could be really cute um i need some help filming that though i'll enlist one of my friends they're used to it um they i think they've got pretty used to me like constantly filming and talking to the camera now because um obviously i've only like recently started up this channel again I'm, i was always like filming little like day in the life things on tiktok anyway but like I think they're used to me doing like longer, like proper videos now. They're like my little, um, my little cheerleaders. It's so cute. Um, they're probably, they could, like, they could probably hear me right now talking in my room. Anyway, um, yeah, I went really off track there. But I got these two cute little tea light holders because I realised I don't have any tea light holders. Um, and they're just, 
I like them, they're like little flowers, so I got those. These are probably the last like interesting bits, to be honest. Um, I just got some of these GWA lashes from Primark. They're always like a pound, so I just pick them up whenever I go in there. Same with like socks and underwear, which I actually didn't get today. Um, but these are the extra volume. Oh, I actually didn't mean to pick these ones up. They might be a bit long. Because I don't have the longest lashes in the world, unfortunately. Why is it that men are blessed with like really long, like perfect lustrous lashes? Probably because they're not putting scar on them, but still, like, it's so unfortunate. But these are the knotted lash fillers. Um, they claim to be reusable, but I don't normally use them. I just buy a new pack. Um, but yeah, I just always pick these up because I'm not very good at strip lashes. I just, for some reason, I can't figure out strip lashes, so I always just get the individuals. But I figured I'd try, like, the cluster ones rather than, like, the individuals this time. I don't know. And then these I'm really excited about. Um, I saw, like, a whole, like... So our Primark is actually really good in Plymouth. Like, some Primarks are really trash. Well, I feel like it's the same thing with, like, Primark and H&M. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's just absolute trash. Um, they had a really good, like, skincare, like, beauty section. Um... So I got two things. I got this salicylic, I can't say this word, salicylic, 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 this, this acid uh, booster serum. It's 2% salicylic acid, that's how I'm going to say it, and willow bark and licorice root S extract, extra, oh, what is wrong with me? I can't speak. Anyway, it's for complexion clearing, minimising imperfections and blemishes. I, I can't speak, oh my god. I actually want to do a podcast. This, okay, so this is something that I've been thinking about for a while, is starting up a podcast. Maybe when or if this channel actually gains any traction, I might do it, because um, I, I can talk for England, but um, that's something I'm thinking of doing, but I literally can't, like, I'm always messing up my words, so... I don't know, I'd have to do like a million takes. Anyway, see, I'm going off track again. I got this because my skin has just been a state at the moment. I think I meant, I've been, meant, I've mentioned it a few times, I think. Um, like, I'm on a bit of a skincare journey at the moment because, like, my skincare was going so good. And then I got COVID again recently. Um, and it just messed up my skin so badly, I guess, because I had a weak immune system. But I need to pick me up because I really, really just want to have clear skin. I would barely wear any makeup if I had clear skin. I actually don't really have makeup on right now. Um, but like in sunlight, my skin just looks so bad. Oh my God, as I said that, loads of sunlight just came through the window. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, so I got this serum. And then I also got a soothing spot lotion with 16% tea tree extract. Oh my god, I said it all right that time. And it just looks like this. This one was 4 50 And this one was £4. I'm sorry if I've forgotten to say how much things are, but all pretty much under a fiver. Um, but yeah, so I've just got these two little goodies. I've actually, I have a mini fridge. Um, but I was just putting like snacks and things in. Um... I can't put it in the bathroom because we obviously don't have a plug in the bathroom but I'm going to turn it into a skincare fridge and just pop these bits in there and just pop like my other skincare daily bits in there because I don't know it's just a bit nicer if they're all like nice and cool and cold when they go on your face so I'm going to pop those in there in a minute and try them out later and maybe I will give you guys a review after I've used them a few times I don't know I might just do it as like a little short or something um yeah, so I picked those up and I'm very excited about them. I also got, oh yeah, I knew I got some face masks. I was looking, I couldn't see them in the bag. So I got a purifying tea tree sheet mask. And then I also got a smoothing apricot and, what does this word say? Niacinamides, glacier water, glacier, glacier water sheet mask. Oh my God. Um... And I figured I would do maybe the purifying one tonight and then like smoothing one tomorrow or something. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a skincare deep clean night tonight. I think we're just having a cosy night and might make some hot chocolates or something. I forgot to buy hot chocolate powder actually, so we won't be doing that. But, um, but yeah, I'm just going to put film on, have cosy night. But I want to clean my makeup brushes, clean my makeup sponges and do some like deep skincare. So 
yeah so i'll probably use one of those tonight um and then apart from that i've just got some really boring bits but i guess i'll show you well, actually no i'm not even gonna bother showing you because it's so boring i just got a bunch of like clothes clothes hangers sorry my hair looked clap then um clothes hangers and then like the acetone and bits to take off my acrylic nails but yeah so that's everything that i got today um i hope you guys enjoyed watching me do a little show and tell and chatting and rambling i do really enjoy filming this kind of stuff just like chatty videos like chatty get ready with me and like hauls and things like that so if you like it do let me know and i'll sprinkle it in a bit more along with some fashion-y lookbook kind of things and also uni day in the life things and now that i'm heading back to uni next week i'm only in like two days a week but i can still do that kind of content especially towards like the end of each term when like we're working on our final projects and our films and stuff i'll have a lot more of like a busy schedule so i can start doing those kind of things as well um but yeah so that's kind of my plan for this channel the kind of content i'm gonna do as long as like as well as all of my like little mini vlogs and things like that that i do like my little daily adventures um which i've really enjoyed filming like my little sea swim things and stuff like that but yeah do interact and comment and like and all of that nice stuff um yeah <laughs>